Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Senior Airman Chan Smith. There are plenty of circumstances that can disable a military vehicle in Afghanistan. Airman First Class Marshal Hunsaker joins one group of soldiers as they learn how to get them back to base. With bigger and safer vehicles constantly improving mission capability in Afghanistan, it takes bigger and stronger recovery vehicles to tow them back whenever they become disabled. Well, we're here to, to teach the, uh, the Hotel 8 course. It's in conjunction with the MRV building. The MRV building is the new record that the Army and the Marine Corps have bought. In order to employ them in the field sooner, the Army brought the whole training program to Afghanistan. Well, this particular course is normally a two-week and two-day course if it's taught back in the States of Fort Lee, Virginia. But here, we got it geared down to about 10 days. The M1089 is designed specifically to get disabled vehicles out of muddy situations. This morning behind us, we have a change of direction situation for the uh, rollover training to upright an overturned vehicle. Just recently implemented the exothermic cutter to be able to do rapid recovery of personnel in the event of a rollover or a trap situation. They learn basic rigging techniques and they go through other various modules in order to be an actual Hotel 8 certified individual. The training is vital when the job requires you to be in the open. While we're out there, we have our weapons with us. Most of the time we got our back turned. Everybody else is in their vehicles. We're out there trying to get it hooked up and get it out and get it back to the rear and get it repaired. Staff Sergeant Horner says it's extremely satisfying to see a vehicle he recovers fixed up and back in the fight. I'm Airman First Class Marshal Hunsaker, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. Yeah.